starting with the question number 3a on 12th of january mr x is entering into the futures contract for the month of march so information is provided for mr x who is entering into the futures contract for the month of march details about the futures contract entered is as under that transaction of purchasing of the security a it is given a technical name as the long position in the futures market the price at which the transaction is entered upon is 1200 on 22nd of february mr x enters into the following futures contract for the security a for the month of march the transaction is sale of security a it is given a technical name as the short position in the futures market the price at which the transaction is entered upon is 1250 suppose on 28th of march last thursday of the march month price of the security a is 800 1200 1220 1250 1500 for each of the market price calculate overall profit or loss lot size is 150 shares that is a question let us have understanding that say how to make the calculation of answer everybody is requested to pay attention don't write anything let me explain you the question is providing the information like this that on 12th of january for the month of march a contract is entered upon to buy the security at 1200 so basically a transaction is entered upon on 12th of january for 28th of march that is the last thursday of the march month to purchase the security at the rate of 1200 information is given to us later on that on 22nd of february again a transaction is entered upon to sell the security a transaction is entered upon for to sell the security on 28th of march the price at which you are going to sell the security is 1250 the question says that say you are required to compute the overall profit or loss that is a question so we can do answer of this question by two methods this is method number 1 listen we carefully the transaction which was entered upon on 12th of january to buy the security we understand it's so the price at which you are having a contract to buy the security is 1200 so if at all the price is less than 1200 then in that case so you will have a loss how much loss 400 if the price is more than 1200 you will have a profit what is the profit 20 what is the profit 15 what is the profit 300 what is the profit or loss in 1200 it is zero this is what we understand okay now the next transaction is entered upon on 22nd of february and that is a transaction to sell the security what is the price at which you are going to sell the security you are going to sell the security at 1250 so what happens i'd say you will purchase from spot market to sell at the futures price 1250 so if at all the price is less than 1250 you'll make a profit what is the profit 450 what is the profit 50 rupees what is the profit 30 rupees what is the profit or loss no profit no loss and in the last case say there is a loss of 250 
This is the way, so we will have the profit or loss in the different situation. So let us see overall. What will happen in the first case, so there is a profit of 50. In the second case, there is a profit of 50. In the third case, there is a profit of 50. Next, it is again 50. In the last case, again, it is 50. So every time, say, you end up with the profit of 50 rupees. Lot size is 150 shares. So profit or loss in total. So it is 150 shares into 50 rupees is the profit per share that comes to 7500. 7500. 7500. 7500. 7500. So this is the first method. Let us see the method number two. The method number two is like this, that what a smart student like you can do, you can see that say there are two opposite transactions in which we have entered upon by the time the first futures contract expire. There are two opposite transactions in which you have entered upon by the time so the, that is so the futures contract expire. So what happens at so the difference of these two will be the profit or loss. So simply for profit or loss you what you can do? Sale value minus purchase value. What is the sales value 1250? What is the purchase value 1200? Multiply with of course the lot size to compute the overall profit or loss. So that is a profit of 50 rupees per share. 150 shares is the lot size that comes to profit of 7500. This is the way so we can have the profit or loss to be computed directly ignoring the market price of the security given to us in the question. Write on a note for the answer. In the write down. First point, if a trader is entering into the reverse of original futures contract comma before expiry of original futures contract comma then Difference between two prices, two future prices will be profit or loss. To the trader full stop second point spot price of security on date of expiry
of futures contract is irrelevant. Question. Now there is an additional important point which I want to tell you is that this profit will be given to the trader on 22nd of February only. That is the date on which the reverse of the original futures contract is entered upon immediately on that date. So the entire profit will be given to the trader. It is not that say the exchange will wait for the last day to give profit to you or to recover loss from you. Immediately the if at all you have entered into two opposite transactions then in that case difference of both of them is the amount of the profit that will be given to you or that amount of the loss will be recovered from you immediately. Third on third point. Importantly in this example profit will be given to the trader on 22nd of February. Full stop. Always immediately loss will be recovered or profit will be given. Full stop. Right on new heading initial margin slash maintenance margin friends we had discussed a point like this 